All right, guys, welcome back. Bare Hands CrossFit. I'm Scott Harris. This is our Bare Hands Paleo Methodology uh, video series here. We got a 30 day uh, paleo challenge coming up starting October 20th. And this is a little sequence of videos that I'm putting together to try to uh, simplify your efforts at uh, having a successful month. And then maybe, who knows, carrying it on. There's a such thing as a 45 day challenge and a lifetime challenge. Uh, so step two, uh, step one was how to make over your kitchen. Step two is going to be how to go grocery shopping, how to get your groceries. Uh, the, you know, the foods that, <laughs> that we're eating is where, where we're focusing. Um, so one thing that I want to focus on here is our, what your number one goal should be when you go grocery shopping and uh, as you eat, especially as you eat paleo. That is to maximize the good not just minimize the bad. So as you, um, as, you, as you decide what recipes you want to make for the week, as you go grocery shopping, keep that in mind. It's not just minimizing the bad. It's not just what you can't have. It's especially what you can now have. It's, you can, it's all the minerals, all the vitamins, all the good foods that you can have on paleo. Um, so uh, this one's going to be quick. So uh, you know something, something simple to ask yourself as you, as you head out to the grocery store um, is simple question is it good for me if your answer is no you know obviously no but if your answer is it's not that bad that probably means it's bad as well so keep that in mind as you as you kind of head through uh, you know the first step kind of here is uh, brainstorming so you want to keep yourself engaged P part of the fun of paleo is cooking and you need to uh, be prepared week by week so what you need to do is on a Saturday or on a Sunday, before you go to the grocery store, you need to get prepared and you need to brainstorm. You need to come up with recipes. You can look on blogs online, Paleo MG, Mark Sishon's blog, Rob Wolf's blog. There's a million and one paleo things on Pinterest for God's sakes. Um, paleo books, Fed, one and two. Uh, paleo MG has a good cookbook as well. Um, those are all places you can get recipes. The other thing is you might want to start thinking about shopping seasonally. So think about like what's in season. It's the fall right now. So um, there's a lot of squash. Uh, there's a lot of like warm savory dishes. So like chili, uh, roasted vegetables, roasted root vegetables, that kind of thing. Uh, so try to be seasonal. And then before you go, so let's say you come up with your recipes and you, and you know what you need. Then what you need to do is check your pantry and fridge. So don't go to the grocery store blind. Uh, thinking, oh God, do we have tomato paste? Do we not have tomato paste? Check before you go, see what you need. Look in your pantry, look in your fridge, um, and, then, and then hop in the car and off you go. Uh, once you get to the grocery store, this is an important point. It's the pathway. You know, it's, uh, it's the, the course that you should take through the grocery store. And, and when you are a paleo um, person, Grocery shopping is actually pretty easy because you just get to kind of stay on the perimeter. You never have to go into the middle of the, uh, of the grocery store. So rule number one is stay on the perimeter. Uh, when you do that, uh, just think when you go into Schnucks in Columbia or if you go to Whole Foods, like they're all set up the same way. So we walk in, make a right hand turn. We've got our vegetables and fruits, check. We've got next our meats. So we go to our protein section. So we can head right there, get the things we need. Uh, next would be bulk items, so like uh, nuts and seeds. And we're usually somewhere right around that area. And then uh, we can head back to the eggs, uh, which is going to be also around maybe butter. If they got grass-fed butter, you can grab your, your dairy product there. Uh, and then we can head to the only aisles that you should be hitting, which are where you're going to get your oils and fats, uh, your spices, and then maybe in the frozen section, I would say frozen berries or something that you can head towards uh, for, for smoothies and that kind of stuff. All right, so that's easy, right? Um, and then uh, I just wanted to kind of go through a couple superfoods here. So these are some things like if you're going through and you're getting confused and you feel like you're overwhelmed, here is a short list of things that you could very well have on your menu every single day for every single meal. Uh, superfoods, protein. We've got grass-fed beef, which you can also get from me. If you don't know how to get grass-fed beef, talk to me. I can get you some. It's the best beef you've ever had, and it's super cheap for what it, for what it is. Wild caught salmon. Take a look at that. Don't get farm raised salmon. You want wild caught. It has higher omega 3s. Um, eggs. 
You can get omega-3 eggs are better than regular eggs, or you can also get eggs through me too. We have some pastured raised, uh, uh, non-GMO fed um, chickens where we get our eggs from. Eggs are a superfood. You can eat as many eggs basically as you want to at all times. They do not make you fat. We'll talk about that later. Uh, and pastured chickens, which by the way, we also have those too. So stick with those meats if you're unsure. Vegetables, we've got spinach, kale, collard greens, broccoli, and cauliflower. Those are superfoods. If it, when all else fails, stick to those. Uh, fruits, um, we're going to be leaning more towards berries and tomatoes. We're trying to be low sugar, low glycemic index, so one to two fruits a day, like a banana or an apple is okay. We want to stick with berries and tomatoes. They're going to be your superfoods in that category, though. Uh, fats, healthy fats. What's the deal with healthy fats? Some superfoods are fish oil, avocado, macadamia nuts, flaxseed, and other sorts of nuts. But your fish oil, avocado, macadamia are uh, some superfoods that are going to feed your brain and they're going to make you feel full so you're not going to have cravings and you're not going to be one to eat as much. Uh, so those are some things that you want to stick with. Oh, and uh, the superfood drink, guess what? Water. Not any other crap, not flavored stuff, nothing. If all else fails, stick with water. How much water should you drink? When you're thirsty, drink water. When you're not thirsty, don't drink water. <laughs> um, so right quick, now, is our next section, which is how to escape unharmed. So a lot of people think that paleo is expensive or it's hard to shop. You gotta, you gotta be like an undercover agent whenever you're grocery shopping to uh, sort of get out of there with your checkbook intact and also actually get out of there with the things you needed and wanted and with things that are gonna keep you and your family healthy. So, how to escape unharmed from the grocery store. Number one is learn how to read labels, okay? Also understand that labels are a red flag. You know, good, good whole foods don't have labels. An apple doesn't have a label because it's an apple, okay? A grass-fed uh, beef tenderloin steak doesn't have a label because it's a grass-fed beef tenderloin steak. That's what it is. You don't have to have, uh, you're not adding anything to it. It's not processed. Uh, look out for the big three, added sugar, trans fat, and unknown chemicals. If you can't pronounce uh, what's in the food, you probably don't want to put it inside of your body. Uh, and then ideally, if, you're, if you are buying stuff with labels, it's going to have under five ingredients. Less than five ingredients, all right? Um, the second step to how to escape unharmed from the grocery store is be aware of tricky marketing, all right? So don't be fooled by the packaging, man. They're trying to get you especially soccer mom type people. Gosh, they're just like marketing to you guys, left and right, uh, trying to beat you down. And here are some phrases, added vitamins and minerals, no sugar, fat free, low fat. When I see fat free and low fat, to me that says, run! Low carb, high protein, contains real fruit. Don't pay attention to this kind of stuff. Stick to your list. Uh, number three then, so you know this is, this is going to help you help your budget. Buy generic. Buy generic in your bulk items. Don't pay extra for the brand name stuff. If you're getting tomato sauce, tomato paste, uh, like nuts, all this kind of stuff, you don't need to have the, the, the brand name. Just get generic. It's a lot cheaper and it's the same stuff. Uh, buy in bulk. Um, if you're going to, if you, if you're going to um, be using a lot of uh, you're making a lot of chilies or soups, buy big cans of tomato sauce, buy big cans of tomato paste, buy as many things as you can in a lump sum because it's going to be cheaper that way as well. Um, and then also only buy what's on sale if it's on your list. So you've brainstormed, you've made your recipe list for the week, and then you get in there and all of a sudden you're like, oh, this is on sale, this is on sale, and you start buying and picking up a whole bunch of crap that you don't need. The key is stick to your list, read labels, don't be fooled by tricky marketing and, and buy generic and buy in bulk. Uh, and then stick with your superfoods and you can start to see how this is coming together and we can actually make this happen. All right, so uh, next video is gonna be how to, uh, what more in depth, what vegetables and fruits to get and then how you can prepare them and what you can do with those sorts of things. So thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.